Hey everybody, we're back. And right now we're gonna talk about mixing colors. I see a lot of people on the Facebook groups. What color did you use? How did you get that color? What color? What brand? And it's a lot of stress about trying to find what color to use to get the right effect. And all you need are these colors right here. These are the only colors you need to make your own. You can make any color you want, but the primary colors, white and black. Um, you actually even don't even need my black. You can make your own black. When I was in high school, our art teachers, they'd give us a egg carton full of paints with no black. And we were forced to make our own if we wanted to use black. Um, so that's basically how we learned how to mix colors. If you remember the color wheel that we talked about earlier, the way you mix them together to get your complementary colors, you start with that and then add black or white or any other color to change it a little bit. The more colors you add, the more you're going to get brown. So if you're looking for brown, do that. Today we're going to make purple. So we're going to only use, well, we'll start with the blue and the red. Try to find a primary color. This one's primary. The acrylic doesn't have a primary red, but it has this bright red, which I think is pretty close. It might have a little bit of yellow in it. We'll find out. Okay, let's get started. We're going to do a whole bit different hues of purple. We'll just see what happens. Okay, we're going to start with some blue. These are the paints that I use for my pouring. Normally I would just I would add the flow trial first so it's easier to mix. And then it's already made when I want the color that I get. I start with a little bit of the red. Now old butter knives are great for stirrers. Something I learned. Kind of a midnight blue. Let's add some more red. The thing with mixing is you just keep going until you get what you want. that we've made. Now, as I learned in my transparency versus opaque video, this red is semi-transparent. So it's really blending in and disappearing into this blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of white. A little bit better. 
of the. purple. I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter so you can see it better. It's very black in the shadows. It's a lot easier to see the hue that we've made. It's definitely a bluish purple. Okay, let's add a little bit more red. See if we can make a plum. almost a raspberry. raspberry. You could get more. Let's see where we started. Just by adding red. Well, I added some white here, I think. A little bit more white because it's so dark. Tints. 
Okay, so I've decided this looks like black raspberry ice cream, and I don't like that anymore. I want to make it less pink in it. I want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm adding some blue. to make this really white light purple very light I would take this knife full and add it to a bunch of white so I'm starting with white here I'll show you we're gonna make a lavender I decided I want it to be darker. I can just add black. So now we're making a shade. grayish tint to it. Hey, sorry about that. Um, my media card ran out and I forgot to, because I forgot to change it. I don't really remember what I said, but I went ahead and I made it darker again and you can see, this is dry by the way, um, see how it dried, our various shades and tints and hues. Um, I really just wanted to encourage you guys to try, go ahead, make things different. You don't have to buy it from a store in order for it to be good. The only thing that runs into is that it's really hard to make the same color over and over again. To get the exact amount of each color over and over again is very difficult. Unless you're weighing it, which 
I guess you could do that. Not something I want to do. Um, and if you enjoyed watching and you want to see more, I plan on doing several other colors. Um, give you guys a chance to see how to make stuff. And I hope we'll see you next time. Thanks.